Good one, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Literally had the most disgusting pizza I've ever had before. Now, is there anything cuter than a baby drinking? Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. I have the greatest showman on for the kids. It's a compromise between something I can stand to listen to this morning. I, I love the greatest showman soundtrack, um, especially from the time like right around when the twins were born that's all I wanted to watch and listen to and I was on like a pre-order list for ordering the digital version of it I just love the greatest showman but it is a new day and we have new news we called the courthouse basically as soon as they opened I called and of the three lots that we were looking at there's one in the middle that somebody owns and we purchased that from them we have a verbal agreement on that one then the other one that we wanted initially turns out it hadn't been listed in the newspaper so it wasn't available for purchase until it goes to the courthouse steps in august and even then you have to wait a year for them to pay you the back taxes the owner so that one is out unless our realtor can work some magic and get a hold of the people that filed bankruptcy for it and she knows a loophole so that's probably I'm not putting money on that happening. The one on the other side though is a little bit smaller, but it is kind of the same situation, same view. It, it gives us some more space to have a larger footprint home and we can definitely get that one. That's what I called the courthouse about today. So we can definitely get that one. It is a true fourth sale. It has been listed in the paper. It's gone to the steps three consecutive years and all we have to do is go to the courthouse, buy it, and it's ours and it's like four thousand dollars cheaper than the one on the other side so it's kind of a win-win and a happy co what is what is the thing that bob ross says like a happy mistake or happy coincidence or something like that that it ended up working out if we are under contract on the one in the middle today which we should be then during nap time i'm going to run to the courthouse and purchase the lot on the other side that is the one that will hold up our timeline for sure. The one in the middle we'll own almost immediately. We'll have the deed to it and all that. The one on the other side that we purchased from the courthouse, we have to wait for the courthouse to process that whole deal and get us the deed in the mail, which can take one to two months. It's not until we have that deed that we can merge the two lots, and it's not until we merge the two lots that we can start building. So that one is going to be the holdup for, hi, baby for like starting our build. And you guys are probably wondering what the rush is. We're gonna be selling this house. That This house is going to sell probably immediately and the longer it takes us to build after we sell this house, the longer we're going to be living in the shed. So we wanna kind of dovetail selling this house and building as close together as possible so we have the smallest gap of time where we're homeless. <laughs> it's gonna be so fun. Eloise, don't play with the toilet. So I just got a text from Rachel's dad that the lot that we just went under contract with is on Zillow for sale. So I text my realtor, I'm like, is there something that we need to know? Like, this seems a little sketchy. So I'm gonna call her and see what she says. Thanks for calling Jody Langley with Berkshire Hathaway. I'm not available at the moment, please. Hey, Jody. Hey, Brad. How are you? Uh, I'm wonderful. How are you? Good, good. Are you at work? Uh, no, I'm actually at home. Okay. Um, Fine. Can so I call you back in two minutes? Yeah, absolutely. No problem. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Get back on, on you guys. Um, okay. <laughs> One of you guys sent me a, a text that said, what's going on with this? Yeah, that was me. Yeah, Dennis, Ra Rachel's dad texts us the picture of the lot on Zillow. He's like, what's going on here? <laughs> well, it got listed. I had to list it in order to sell it. Oh. So, so, yeah, it's already contingent in the, or pending in the system. Oh, okay. So, so uh, Zillow doesn't show that stuff as fast. Right. Anyway, so don't worry about that. Oh, okay. 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 Um, 
obviously you're excited about building a house, okay? But I guess my question is, is if we list your house and sell your house, what are you doing? Well, are you going? yeah, Rachel's dad, he, he owns his own company, so he has three buildings. Oh, yeah. And like our RV is stored in there, Rachel's dad's okay. RV is stored in there. Um, there's okay. also an office building that has some bedrooms in it, so. Oh, okay, so you'll just kind of hang until you get, because I anticipate that your house selling pretty quick. Well, yeah, I mean, that's what we keep. So basically, Jody, our realtor, said it's a requirement that she has to put on the MLS to sell it. And it's already under contract on her end. It's just, I guess, take Zillow, you know, maybe a day or two to catch up. And now I'm writing the check out to the title company for the closing of the lot. So everything's really coming together. And she was like, okay, before we list your house, well, we went over numbers and stuff. She's like, but if we sell quickly, where are you guys gonna live? It's like, well, we got this crazy idea. We're gonna move into a shed. It is Friday afternoon. Oh, you want the cupcake? Hmm, how about after dinner, buddy? And the problem is there's only one and then there's three of you. Now, is there anything cuter than a baby drinking? Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Eloise, can you drink from that cup? Take a drink. No, 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 no. Take a drink from it, honey. <laughs> uh, yes. It's kind of like a lemon cake. Is it lemon? No! It's on my foot! Yes, silly. Lemon cake! That's silly. That's it. It's a whole lemon. Yay! Alright, Eloise. Can you take a drink from that? Here, I'll let you eat that and then we'll take a drink from it. The unicorn took a bite of your pudding? That's silly. Oh, of your little cake? <laughs> Bear loves to have Alexa play the thunder sounds. So like I said, it's Friday afternoon. That means we have this weekend to get the house ready for pictures this coming week. So that means all of our last minute projects, we need to get done. So keeping the kids occupied with trains because in here we're going to roll up this rug. We are going to roll it up. Well, I mean, to be fair, I did clear it for you, honey. I still think it's on it. You're hilarious. Does it look like it got a haircut? <laughs> it's like that SNL skit, becoming a mom, cutting your yeah. hair. Oh gosh, that was hilarious. Yeah, it's pretty funny. The mom haircut. No offense if anybody has a long haircut, I'm sure it's very convenient. <laughs> it's a great haircut. It is a great haircut. Yeah, this... You remember when people told me before we had the twins, they were like, you're going to need to cut your hair. No, I don't remember that at all. I do. <laughs> well, I'm sure you do. <laughs> so what are you waiting for, Christmas? Back off, Karen. I'm not cutting my hair. I don't know specifically if the person's name was Karen. I'm just... If you're Karen, I'm sure you're... <laughs> Sorry. Lovely. <laughs> Anyways, do you have any special projects for this weekend? I don't. Okay. That did remind me though that somebody said that they had to tell their mother-in-law. Yes. Yeah, we had somebody. Karen. Was it an email or an Instagram it a DM or comment? Um, her mother-in-law's name is Karen, and she had to like break it to her that that's a name commonly used for. It's like a meme. Yeah. Name. <laughs> Oh, um, plans for this weekend? Mm-hmm. Work on this house, I guess. Okay. So in addition to cleaning up the toy room a lot, we need to make our front porch magical. Um, because right now we have like this empty flower pot and an empty open lantern thing and a bench 
and like some dead mums. So we'll have to take a trip to either Lowe's or Home Depot. Should we get... Get that beautified. Should we get some um, butterflies? <laughs> that we just like release right before the showing that will like hover around the flowers that we put there. Good one, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Literally had the most disgusting pizza I've ever had before. Good one, honey. <laughs> I had, to, I had to put extra cheese on it. One was like a cauliflower crust and the other one was like gluten-free. It was pretty nasty. There are just some of the containers from picking up the playroom. And bum ba da bum 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 So it's almost done. Um, I feel like this is pretty tore up, pretty ugly. So we'll probably get that out of there before pictures and I don't know, we might need to hang something over there, but not too shabby. Please do go on, Rachel. I give it a, what's like the highest number of stars I can give a product? Five. I'm gonna give that a five. No. It's <laughs> unbelievable. It, in three treatments, I'm, I'm, Completely cured cradle cap. Very nice. I know. So I didn't. One thing I didn't realize is cradle cap is not just specific to newborns. It can happen. Wait, wait, Rachel. Rachel, pause. So Rachel's giving Wendell a bath right now. So Rachel, I'll move my mouth while you say what you're saying. Okay. Okay. One thing that I've learned is that cradle cap is not just specific to newborns. It can actually happen in toddlers too, and it can happen behind their ears. It can like cake up, just flaky skin can cake up right behind their ears. <laughs> you wouldn't think you could get it there, but you can. And I'm here to tell you that if you want to treat it, all you need is this baby. We'll link it below. <laughs> I feel like you're acting like I'm overreacting. <laughs> well, I just know how super common it is for kids to get hives and, you know, like uh, break out on their skin. Yeah, so I don't think it's normal though. I think how common it is, is making it seem like it's a normal thing. But she obviously had a reaction to something. So Lyndall broke out this evening in head to toe, full body, pretty severe hives. I, I mean, I guess it's hives. I'll insert a picture here. <laughs> I'm not an allergist, but it was clearly a reaction to something. So I was texting back and forth with my friend who's a dietitian, and thanks Jordan for all of your advice. She was like, okay, list everything she's eaten in the last couple hours. Is she having any other symptoms like um, runny nose or sneezing? Any problems with like, like other digestive issues? And we basically narrowed it down to maybe a sensitivity to latex, which kids, I guess, that have a sensitivity to latex will have a sensitivity to peaches, too. We definitely, maybe, possibly narrowed it down to peaches. Yeah, it's for sure, we kind of think, maybe, 100% positive that we think maybe it's peaches. <laughs> so... Um, I'm definitely gonna be like contacting her pediatrician, explaining everything. I feel like we need to have an EpiPen on hand because I'm nervous about like the way that she reacted to whatever it was tonight. I'm nervous about what's gonna happen the next time. Um, she's always had, she's always been like our more sensitive child. I'm pretty sure she has like a dairy sensitivity because she'll occasionally get patches that resemble eczema, um, but it goes away. It's gone away completely now that we've cut dairy out of her diet. So I think she just has a sensitivity to dairy. And then, I don't know. So if you have any experience with a kid with a peach allergy. <laughs> yeah. Cause that's what it is for sure, we think. So the way my mind works, I've automatically made a mental list of the scariest possible moments you could ever have parenting. Cause I was thinking an anaphylactic reaction would be one of the scariest things yeah, that'd be really scary. that you could possibly deal with as a parent and how helpless you would feel as they like couldn't breathe and there was nothing you could do. 
we are far enough away from the hospital that if if one of our kids had an or if either of us had an anaphylactic reaction to something like we probably wouldn't make it is that that's horrible to think about um well and i'm sure there's going to be some comments about somebody who's had experience with an epipen yeah or an anaphylactic reaction yeah, or lack of epipen right because they cost 900 dollars they do well they did i don't know if the price has changed remember that was in the news yeah a while back that's right somebody took over the company of yeah and right. injected up the price of an epi pen exactly i wonder if there's any generic version of it now yeah, yeah. let me know if you guys have an epi pen in your house i kind of want one just to we have one at clinic really mm -hmm. yep. that's good to know yeah it makes me want to get an epi pen i just would feel much more comfortable but that's the type of person i am Impossible. Yes. My throat's a little dry. I'm nervous. I need to take an anxiety pill. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's real. Our kids just have the best mommy ever. Oh, stop. Alright, we're gonna pop this popcorn. Okay.